Let's talk real dollars. Let's assume you make America's medium income for a single person of $40,000 per year, not counting inflation or interest rates. How many years would you need to work to earn $1 million? Let's say you started working in 1982 and you were so frugal you saved $20,000 each year. You shared a house with several roommates, never had children, only went out for fast food once per month, and lived off bulk cans of soup. 40 years later, in 2022, you still would have only $800,000 in your bank account. 40 years of hard work and no money for fun or to support a family would still leave you short of landing on the millionaire's list. At this rate, to make the millionaire's list, you would need to work and save $20,000 each year for 50 years. Yes, 50 years. That's a long time living like Dickens, Ebenezer Scrooge. Even if you work for 60 years, saving $20,000 per year, you would still be considered poor versus business moguls like Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, or Bill Gates. This example shows that you will have a difficult time building wealth if you don't follow the millionaire's investing rules of money. I have already made several videos on investing to build wealth in a playlist I'll share at the end of this video, which you can go back and check out. But you might be asking, do you need to start a successful tech company to become at least a millionaire in 20 years or even a multimillionaire? The answer is no. Take the example of Warren Buffett. He didn't start an Amazon or Tesla. All he did was to find the right stocks to invest in. Even better, some of his biggest winners started out as penny stocks, but many investors fail when investing in the stock market or cryptocurrencies. You may be asking what differentiates most investors from the rest. What is value investing in penny stocks? Now you are asking why do the majority of millionaire investors follow this rule? Before we answer that question, make sure and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, remember, this video is not financial advice, but for education and entertainment only. This is Lynn, and welcome back. But remember that penny stocks are very risky, high risk versus potential high reward. Now let's dive back into millionaire investing. In 2003, Apple was a tiny company, and the iPhone didn't exist yet, and Apple was not the behemoth success that they are today. Apple's founders barely scraped by, and Apple almost went bankrupt several times over the previous 20 years. But Charlie Munger recognized a winner and tried to talk Buffett into buying Apple in the early 2000s. But Warren Buffett didn't yet understand how tech companies work and couldn't put a value on Apple. Charlie Munger finally convinced Buffett that Apple was such a powerful brand that they could sell their products for a much higher profit than their competitors. Buffett then bought Apple in 2016 when the stock was $24 per share. Then he bought 1 million shares of Apple over the next two years. In March 2021, this investment was worth more than $100 billion to Buffett's fund, Berkshire Hathaway. Instead of just buying randomly hyped stock, Buffett also found success with many consumer staple stocks like Coca-Cola by digging into the company's financials and business plan. Then Buffett would bet on the long run and the stock is up 2,000% since he started buying Coke 33 years ago. Today, Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway owns about 10% of Coca-Cola and it's worth approximately $22 billion 
for his original investment. That's exactly what value investing is. If you look at companies that Warren Buffett or Peter Lynch have invested in, you'd see the same incredible results. Buffett seeks companies that have such a great value that he can buy their stocks and then forget about them for the next 10 or 20 years. Value investing is buying stocks that are today undervalued, then forget about them for the next 10 or 20 years. Value investing is buying stocks that are today undervalued on the stock market. Now back to former penny stocks like Apple, Nvidia, and the former Facebook, now Meta. In 2003, these all were selling for less than $1 per share. A $10,000 investment in Apple in 2003 would now be worth $1.6 million, but a $10,000 investment in chip maker NVIDIA at 43 cents per share would today be worth $2.5 million. And best of all, a $10,000 investment in the social media giant Facebook at 93 cents per share would today be worth $5.2 million. Investors who buy these penny stocks with a conviction about their value don't sell. The fact Warren Buffett built a $100 billion fortune is a clear testament to the power of value investing. Warren Buffett did finally start investing in technology stocks and made billions simply by picking the best penny stocks. You have the opportunity to become a millionaire or multimillionaire in 10 or 20 years. Most average investors buy a popular stock that is hyped through social media without understanding the company's financials, business focus, or plan. Investors can own a dozen or even 50 individual stocks in their portfolio. But if you ask them about these companies, they don't know much when it comes to the details. There are a lot of passionate Tesla and Bitcoin investors today. These investors are convinced that Tesla, for example, will reach $5,000 per share by 2030. But if you ask them to share about why Tesla's business plan and value fundamentals, they hardly know anything. Especially now, this is important to know how Tesla plans to beat the coming competition like Apple with their upcoming Apple car. But I do admire Elon Musk for his huge business success and particularly with SpaceX. Many investors also blindly put their belief in Kathy Woods only because her top ARKK ETF gained 189% by December 2020, only to lose investors 13% in 2021 versus the average S&P market gains of 24%. Let's say you were gifted a liberty 1908 $5 coin by your great grandfather at birth. Would you sell this coin for $5 or save it to today's value of $446? You'd save it, of course. Value investing is not about investing in what is hype or trending. If the stock is a big winner today, you've likely already missed on the biggest run up in value. If you knew a stock's true value, you can make a lot of money when you buy it for lower cost on sale. Stocks like our gold coin go through periods of interest or high versus lower success and price fluctuations. If a penny stock is really worth $1.50 per share and you buy it for 50 cents per share, you will make $1 per share on your investment simply by waiting for the stock to raise back to its true value. Your investment of $10,000 would then be worth 
$30,000. That would be a $20,000 profit. Often, by the time the stock has reached the $1.50 price per share, two years later, for example, the company is worth much more. This provides you with a chance, like Apple, to make even more money. If you had purchased a stock at a price of $1.50 and it raised to a price of $1.75 another two years after that, then your original $10,000 would have made you a profit of only $2,500. Remember that there are fundamentals you need to look at when buying a stock, like the income statement, balance, and cash sheets. Plus, review more details like reading their annual report and how the company stacks up versus the competition. These details are all covered in my playlist on making millions with penny stock. But value investors look beyond even these details to find impressive leaders like Steve Jobs, who headed up Apple for decades. Investors also look at the company's history of creating value for shareholders through moves like buying back shares versus diluting stock ownership by flooding the market with million or billions of additional shares. Investors also look at the company's dedication to their employees and principles. If you can't do all of this, then you would probably do much better investing in an S&P 500 ETF like VOO or SPY, returning an average of 9% per year. Warren Buffett also has made that statement that the vast majority of investors would do much better investing in an S&P 500 index fund. And what's even better, these funds have returned a whopping 15% to investors per year during the past 15 years bull market run. But remember that these investors who are willing to put in the extra effort and find those rare penny stock gems like Apple, Nvidia, and Meta can make millions. If you want to learn more about value investing in penny stocks, then you will enjoy this custom playlist, Making Millions with Penny Stocks, that I have made for you that could potentially change your life. Now give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our newsletter so that you are notified about new videos like this one.